Hi, and welcome to another tutorial on coding in C Sharp. In the previous tutorial, we looked at how to uh, test different conditions in C Sharp using if statements as well as uh, else if and else statements to go with those. So we looked at how to um, test a condition uh, and then write code that would um, run when a condition is true. Okay, and um, we looked at how to use else if conditions to basically specify other conditions that can be met and what to do if those conditions are met. And then a last else statement, which basically runs code if no other condition is met. Um, and those statements are quite useful for testing conditions. But if you find that you are writing if statements that have a lot of else ifs in them, then you might want to try out switch statements instead, which can be um, a little bit tidier, a little bit cleaner. So basically what happens is um, you might have a variable and then you check, um, you have a switch statement which um, you specify that variable that you want to use in the switch statement and then you can have different cases that you test. Okay, and once a case um, has been um, evaluates to true, or once a case statement um, condition evaluates to true, then the rest of the switch statement stops running and it just does whatever it needs to do. So let's have a look at this um, by firstly, we'll create an integer variable. So say int my number equals, and we'll just make it three. Okay. And then what we do, instead of writing if, we write switch and put in that variable's name, my number, close those brackets, and then add open and closing curly brackets. Okay, and the code for this switch statement is going to go inside these two uh, curly brackets. Okay, so first thing that we do is we specify a case. So we, we can, rather than in an else, uh, an if statement where we say else if, else if, else if many times, what we do is just write case and then the case that we want to check. So first thing we might want to check if my number has is the value of one. So we say case one and then a colon. And the next line we write what we want to do if my number is one, if it meets that um, case that condition. So what we can do is just maybe say console.write line, the number is one. Okay, and then what we need to do is write break on the next line. So what will happen is if this case is met, so if my number is one, and so we go down to this line, check this case one, if it's true, then what it will do is say the number is one and then it will break this switch statement. So it will stop checking um, the rest of the switch statement and all the other cases that there might be. Okay, so what we can do now is add a second case, case two. All right, so this time we're gonna check if the number is two. And if it is, we'll display the message, the number is two. And we'll also add a break line there as well. Okay, and we can check another case. We can check if the number is three. And if so, display the message, the number is three. All right, so pretty simple. Okay, and for each of these cases, you need to make sure, see this is uh, underlined right at the moment, it says control cannot fall out of switch from final case label. Okay, so for all of these different cases, we need to end it with break. So we need to add break there. All right, so basically if the number is not one, it will move on to the next one. If it's not two, then it'll move on to the next case, and then eventually it will find three, and it will break the uh, switch statement there. So it will do whatever it needs to do for case three and then break. Okay. So basically if you didn't have break there in these different cases, it would just keep going through and checking every single condition, even if um, one of them has already been met or even if one of the cases is or already matches what the variable value is. Okay. So um, the last thing we can do is say what will happen if none of these cases are true. So the number is not one, and it's not two, and it's not, well, it's not three either. So what we can do is say default colon, and then on the next line we could have a little message. Oops, 
not that, console.write line. And I'll just say something like, I don't know, this number. And then break. Okay, so let's go and test that. The number, my number, um, that variable's value is three. So we should see the message the number is three when we run this. And that's what we get. Okay, if we change the number in that variable to two, we should see the number is two. Okay, so it's not going to go and keep checking all these cases here um, once it's found a matching case. It's, as soon as it's found a matching case, it's going to do what it needs to do for that case and then break um, or end that switch statement. Okay, and if we have a number here that doesn't exist in one of these case statements here, or isn't one of those cases, then it's going to go to the default and say, I don't know this number. So it's kind of a little bit like saying, um, else if, else if, else if, and else. Okay, a little bit, uh, a little bit like that, but this is much neater. Um, so writing these case statements a little bit shorter. Um, we don't need to write if my number is equal to one, or if my number is equal to two, or else if my number is equal to three, and so on. We can just write case one, case two, case three, and default. And then once a case is um, reached, once one of these cases is correct, then it just breaks uh, the switch statement. Okay, so that's basically how to write a switch statement in C Sharp. Thanks for watching.